Okay, so today I've been actually questioned a lot on this effect. It's called, um, I call it the ink splatter effect, it's a decal, whatever you like. So pretty much, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So there's one you could do with color, and there's one you could do that's an actual transition. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So I'm just going to make a new comp, and I set it to about 6 minutes, so I have time, and 60 FPS, so it's smooth. And I'll be providing you guys with a overlay to use, and they're, I call them ink blots, but you could, I'll just put them in the description. So anyways, you want to grab your clip, and whatever your clip may be, so let's say I was, I'll do the um, ink color first. So let's say I use this one, I'm going to go grab one without subtitles, so like right there. And you want to just grab your clip, and go zoom in a little, and you want to drag it over to the beginning. I'm going to take this one actually. And then you want to import whichever one, I'll, I only have two, um, but you want to import it. And then you go right click it, time, enable time remapping. And then I'm going to zoom out and you see how there's two at each side. If you don't have one, just go to the end and click the keyframe and then drag it in. Except drag it into how far your clip is. And then you'll get it right, drag it to where you want your clip to end. So my clip ends right there, so I'm going to cut it off. And then now we're going to drag it to the top. And then 150 because it's not at full resolution. And now you only have this. This is not what you want. So you want to hit both, shift command C, and create a new comp, pre-comp. And then um, I'm going to name this ink color. And then <clears throat> go into here. It'll usually be right here, except click toggle switches and modes. And go to the very bottom and click Luma inverted matte ink blot. And then it'll like replace it with it. So you'll get something like that. So now you only have in this comp something that looks like that. And that's not what you want. So I'm going to duplicate the original layer. So control C, control V, and now we'll have the original. Put it underneath it, go into here, go black, and then apply black and white to the one you just duplicated, so it gets like that. And then go into um, typing contrast and brightness. So you, you want to apply that to the one that you didn't apply the black and white to. So up your brightness a little so it shows up. And maybe this one right there. Whatever you prefer. I'm going to actually move this ink blot over a little bit so you get more of his face. So, oops. Um, and then you'll get something like this. I'm going to scale it up a little. So now I have something like this, and this wasn't the best example, but you see that it spreads the color now. But that's all you really want to do. I'm going to turn this down to half. So now you get something like this. That's pretty much the ink blot with the color. So that's it. And then the other one you want to do is the ink transition, this one or whatever. If only I'd load but that one. So I'm going to go into here, I'm going to create a new comp, same settings, 60 FPS, whatever, and then you want to grab the scenes you want to use. You'll need two scenes for this one, so let's say I want to use this scene, and maybe I'm going to get fine with out subtitles, and maybe like this scene. So I'm just going to pull it in like that, and then you'll have your two scenes. So the beginning clip will be the one that's going to be underneath the ink. So I'll have, I'll have this one on top, just because it's there. And don't overlap them yet, but pull in whatever ink blot you want, 
apply it, scale it up, right click, time, enable time remapping, um, pull it to where you want your clip to end, and I want to end maybe, I want it to go from here to maybe here. So we're going to pull it in, and just like that, cut it off, and now you have this. Command both of them, or select both, and then shift command C, or control C if you're on a laptop. And make sure all these are applied. I forgot to tell you that before, but do not apply that one. And then we'll go ink transition. Okay. So now you have something like this. Go down here, the main inverted map, and then you'll get that. Now you want to go in here, you see that looks like this. Drag it over, maybe to center it, whatever you like. Uh, I'll leave it where it was. But now you have the the regular transition. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.